Hey, what's going on YouTube? I wanted to post a video on a mosquito trapping system uh, that I have installed and I'm gonna try out this summer. Um, we got pretty bad mosquitoes and um, not a huge fan of spraying chemicals all over the place, killing everything, bees, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I found this system online uh, last year. I bought one trap. Uh, these are mostly marketed towards like scientists, at least they were in the past. I think they're trying to go towards consumers now. And so I was pretty happy with that trap and how many mosquitoes it caught. So I went ahead and put the plunge in and bought four more traps of a newer model. And I kind of want to show you how it works and uh, then I'll follow up a few months and see how many mosquitoes it actually caught. So I didn't find much online as far as how this works other than stuff from the company. Uh, the company's called Biogents. And uh, the way the trap works is pretty simple. This is a, it's called a BG mosquiteer um, basically you can see there's a little power cord that runs into it a little DC fan runs in there like a computer fan and it sucks air down and then the air comes out through this vent system as it sucks the air down little guys little mosquitoes and creepy crawlies that fly over top of it get sucked down into this little trap and uh, they get trapped down in here eventually they'll dehydrate and die you don't have to kill them or anything like that give them a couple days and they'll die and there are a couple mosquitoes in there you can see that's actually pretty good kind of hard to catch it on the camera but that's a little tiger mosquito right there um, they also so to attract them supposedly visually a black circle surrounded by white outline somehow makes mosquitoes happy and they want to fly into it there's a little set packet in there um, that smells pretty bad uh, apparently it smells like us as humans so that's supposed to attract it but the kicker that really kind of turbocharges this is they use co2 so uh, this little sticker comes off and there's a nozzle I don't have it hooked on right now and the nozzle puts out co2 and the co2 really kind of makes the mosquitoes think it's us um, you know mosquitoes use heat uh, some visual cues scent but really the big thing is CO2 because we're always getting off CO2 and that kind of makes them home in and want to want to strike. So it pulls mosquitoes into that and kind of sucks them in. The real problem I had is the CO2 and you know, running electricity out to these isn't too hard. Uh, but the CO2 is kind of a trick because you need the valves if you have multiple valves on one system. If you have one valve and one one trap it's no big deal but I've got a tank in the basement and this is running out almost a hundred feet already um, so to dial this in I had to actually find a valve online that would that was uh, could actually handle pressure and and keep the co2 from leaking all around the the valve itself so this one's designed for truck suspensions uh, basically the tubing they sold me it says it's co2 tubing um, I think it's quarter inch RODI tubing, um, which I probably overpaid for, but you know, whatever. And uh, so it's basically CO2 tubing at a quarter inch that happens to fit perfectly with this particular truck valve here uh, for the air ride suspension. So I'll post a link of where I got that. These were 10 bucks each. And uh, then you can dial it in. I'm using a glass right now to get the bubble count about right. But basically you just move the valve back and forth till you get the bubbles right and uh, then it it works and uh, I don't know that's maybe a little high but you know the more co2 the more it's gonna attract them but the quicker you're gonna go through your tank so one of the things I did and I might show this in a later video is I ended up putting a uh, timer that shuts the co2 off for uh, most of the morning and early afternoon and then it sh turns on in the evening uh, when the mosquitoes are most active kind of save on co2 uh, I've got a 20 20 pound tank, I think it's what it's called. And uh, they're not expensive to refill, but they are expensive to buy. So um, I wanna show the old one, the original one I had here. So this one I bought a year ago. Um, at the time the company didn't have a US store. So here's another, another glass trying to get the CO2 quantity the same. Um, this is the original one I got and this is uh, Kind of look like an upside down witch's hat it's basically got a little fan in there sucked a couple leaves get those out of the way um i just put these in the other day so lines are all kind of loose and you know i want to leave it long enough so i can move it around this is one of their other traps this is a called a gravid trap 
So once a mosquito bites you, it tries to go lay its eggs. Um, and basically what this does is it attracts them in there because it's got water at the bottom and leaves and stuff. It's got a screen so they can't actually reach it and then they fly in there and they end up getting stuck on a sticky paper and hopefully break some of that life cycle of the mosquito. So we'll leave this valve alone. Walk down to this other valve. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, this is probably going to require a little dialing in, but here we go. Here's another trap. And again, trying to get the CO2 levels right, and that's too much. Have to fix that. And a couple more traps. And this trap I've had in for a couple days uh, before I had a chance to put the other traps in. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. It's kind of nice when you want to look at the trap, you just close the lid. And uh, yeah, that is a whole lot of mosquitoes. Um, and it's mostly a bunch of dehydrated mosquitoes. There are some other bugs. I did a little, I sprayed it out on a piece of paper and I found, I was catching around, I mean this is kind of like unscientific, but somewhere around 200 a night, which will make a dent in the population. Um, different kinds of mosquitoes too, um, catching the Aedes albopictus, which is the tiger mosquito, catching some of the little malaria mosquitoes, and then a ton of the house, the common house brown mosquito that you usually get bit by. Um, does catch some other bugs, but you know, it's not bad. It's not like just spraying the entire world with, with you know, insecticide. So uh, yeah, I'll post some more videos once I know how well this works. Hope that helps somebody out there in the world. Good luck, don't get bit.